Three challenging goals you should achieve before 2021 is over. It was the year 2000. I just got into what we call senior secondary class. On this very day, I was having a conversation with two of my friends. At some point, we were talking about who will become the best student in our class. I announced to my friends that I will become the best student in our new class and both disagreed with me. I left that meeting with the first major goal of my life to become the best student in my class. Because of this new goal, I had to lie to my parents to give me money. I got some money and used it to buy different books. Because of this new goal, I reduced the time I wasted on TV and other things. Because of this new goal, I would wake up about an hour earlier than everyone in my home and use that period to read before I went to school. As God will have it, I ended up becoming the best student in my class and that got me to see practically how powerful goal setting could be. That was more than 20 years ago. Until today, I set goals for myself every time. For most people who don't set goals, well, it's very difficult to hit a target you can't see. Just as you can see in my bus story, goals make you focus. Goals challenge later on after something. Goals remind you of where you're going so that you don't waste your time with the people who do not go your way. Now let me share with you a few goals you might need to set in the new year. Number 1. Set goals to read and think. Warren Buffett said, I do more reading and thinking and make less impulsive decisions than most people in business. Bill Gates reads about 50 books per year. Mark Cuban reads about 3 hours every day. And when asked how he learned to build rockets, Elon Musk said, I read books. Henry Ford said, Thinking is the hardest work there is, which is probably the reason why so few engage in it. If there are two things that can change almost anyone's life, they are reading and thinking. Reading expands our minds and gives us new insight into how we can either do what we are doing better or how we can do something entirely different. Unfortunately, most people don't read. Last week I came across a study that claims that 80% of American families didn't buy any book the previous year to the time the study was conducted. And the part of the world where I come from, you hardly see anyone reading except they have a school examination. While people who don't read achieve some level of success, you can be sure that knowledge is a multiplier. If you can drive your car at 20 km per hour in the darkness, you sure can drive at 60 km per hour if you have a light. So, set a simple goal to read more in the next 12 months. You can start with a single book per month. Don't read any book more than 10 pages if you don't enjoy it. If you pick up a book and don't like it after reading 10 pages, drop it and pick another one. This is important because you don't want your brain to feel like reading is a difficult thing. By choosing to read only books that you enjoy, your brain would associate reading with pleasure, which will help you read more. Number 2. Set goals to invest 300 hours into something. One of my goals for the next 12 months is to be a better communicator. To achieve this art, I've read Dale Carnegie's popular book, The Art of Public Speaking, and as a further study, I'm paying attention to other great communicators online. I would listen to them try to decode what they are doing deep in their brains, observe their poses, change of tones, and their gestures. Another thing I have to set to do is to speak to the camera often. I want to do this via some YouTube channels. I mean, think about one important skill you've been wanting to acquire. Now is the right time to give it a go, and the best way to get started is to set a goal to invest at least 300 hours in the next 12 months into becoming better at such skill. This means invest about 50 minutes every day into becoming better at a skill. This can mean watching a video, reading a book, or listening to someone who already does so well in what you're trying to do. This will also mean doing, getting your hands dirty and practicing. 
The whole idea about investing 300 hours into becoming better in a skill is that if you could identify a particular skill that will make a difference in your career, then your life can change. Number 3. Set a goal to be thankful for many little things. There's a book called Happiness Advantage. Sean Aqua wrote it. This book proves that happy people tend to achieve more success in life than people who are not usually happy. The reason for this is because human brains perform better when we are happy. I read somewhere that our brains perform about 31% better when we are happy than when we are sad. And that should not be a surprise, right? So here is the deal. People aren't happy necessarily because of what happened to them, but because of how they interpret what happens to them. This means we can all be happier than we are right now, if we look at things we can be grateful for. While many people believe that if they can achieve more success, they will be happier, the reverse is actually the case. If you can be happier, you'll achieve more success, and how to be happier is to be more grateful for things you already have. Anthony Robbins has a morning ritual, which is about stating three things he is grateful for. Most of us can say three things we are grateful for, and this simple exercise can make our brain better. Set goals to read and think more. Set goals to invest 300 hours into valuable skills. Set goals to be happier by being more grateful for what you already have. None of the above goals will be easy but disciplining yourself to follow them through can make a better life. I hope this video helps someone. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll get notified every time we post a new video. Also write your thoughts in the comments down below.